hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back where we talk all things health and wellness. Today I'm excited to share with you my October menu and so I'm hoping that this will just give you some inspiration and encouragement as you um, meal plan and menu plan just to give you some maybe different ideas or what have you. And as you will notice, it is Trim Healthy Mama style for those of you who follow Trim Healthy Mama. So I try to mix it up between some E meals and S meals and things like that. Um, and also I like to mix it up between easy meals and some meals that take a little bit more time. And usually the meals that take a little bit more time, I like to double and then freeze so that I have a quick ready to go meal later. So um, just because life is busy and I'd love to be able to cook exquisite meals every night, but just don't have the time for that. So um, just kind of mixing it up between some quick and ready meals and then some meals that maybe take a little bit more time. So let's hop right in and I'll show you. So just a quick recap, if you've watched any of my menu and meal planning videos before, um, what I tend to do is make one breakfast for the week and then just use that for the week. And then also for lunches, we tend to do leftovers or maybe I'll make a salad and then oftentimes it's peanut butter and jelly for the kids. Um, so starting the first week of October here, um, my first week you'll notice if you're a Trim Healthy Mama specifically, um, a lot of my meals are emails. It is not uh, mixed up. And that is because I am doing some bulk cooking this week and doing some canning. And um, a lot of those meals are emails and I'm basically just gonna use that for convenience sake for our meals this week so I'm not cooking twice. So that's why you'll see that, but it is a good idea always, as always, for that metabolic flexibility to really mix up your meals, have some fat-focused um, meals and some carb-focused meals and things like that to keep your metabolism fired up and guessing. So um, the first week here, we're gonna do eggs in a nest for breakfast and um, chicken and rice soup. That is something that I'm gonna be canning. And then Tuesday, I saw, um, it was through the Trim Healthy Mama, one of the Facebook pages, the fall harvest salad. It has chicken, sweet potatoes, red cabbage, and pears. So, pears. so I'm excited to try that. And then Wednesday, I'm actually going to be canning all day at my parents um, using their um, canning supplies and what have you. And so I'm going to be have, pulling out a freezer meal for my husband, Mexican rice, and then the kids and I will eat whatever the canning food is that we're making for that day. Um, and then Thursday, cheeseburger soup. That's another thing that I'm making on our bulk day on Wednesday. I'm obsessed with my cheeseburger soup recipe. Cheeseburger soup is one of my favorite comfort foods. Um, and I do have a video for that recipe. If you're interested, I can link that below. Friday night is pizza night. And then... Sunday night is an egg casserole. I usually just make with whatever I have on hand, whatever veggies and what have you. I've been throwing in some cauliflower rice, super delicious and really, really easy. Um, and then Grape Delight, it's a crossover and that's something that I am actually making a video for this week. And so we will get to enjoy eating that throughout the week. And then of course, um, just really been enjoying apples from the orchard and any other fruit. I also have some cookie dough bites in the freezer as another option for snacks and desserts. And then the next week is um, for breakfast, I'm gonna make these chocolate muffins. My kids really like them. And it's in Danielle Walker's book, Eat What You Love. This is her um, recipe book that I have. And again, um, I love using other recipes that I enjoy, but just tweaking it, tweaking it, Trim Healthy Mama style. So making that and then um, Trim Zupa Toscana soup on Monday night with the 15 minute focaccia bread. I make that a lot. It's really quick and really easy and really versatile. You can make um, add it to just any meal with a salad meal or soup meal or what have you. Um, and then flexible fajita soup. I'm gonna make it the E style for Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I'm going to just make, again, with whatever I have on hand, I have some Wonder Wraps in the freezer, and then just gonna have some taco meat and what have you with guacamole. Thursday is tilapia, another quick and easy meal. 
I just um, cook up some tilapia, make some rice, and I throw in a bag of uh, stir fry veggies. And that is our meal. And then again, pizza night, Friday night. I tend to make, <laughs> I'm a volume eater, so I tend to make this like pizza veggie hash, I guess you could call it. Um, and I make it fuel pull style and um, I tend to eat I feel like I can eat more that way. Um, my husband makes this crossover pizza and sometimes I'll have a slice of that, but um, I often make the pizza veggie hash. And then Saturday night, cabbage and sausage skillet, another quick and easy meal. I have purple cabbage on hand. Um, and then we will do finger food, charcuterie board, if I pronounce that correctly. Just fun to have nights like that sometimes, and so we'll be doing that a few times this month. Apple dumplings. I'm also making an apple dumpling video. I'll be sticking some in the freezer, so I'll have those on hand. Um, they are a crossover. And then something else I've been making a lot here lately is skinny chocolate. And I will put chopped pecans in because I someone gave us a big bag of pecans. And it is really delicious, really easy to make. And then I'll just chunk it up once I... I'll throw it in the freezer and then just chunk it up in pieces. And it's ready to go. And then fruit... And then moving on to October 16th, oatmeal for breakfast. Monday night, we're just going to do the BLT wraps with maybe some peanut butter and celery. Tuesday, um, sweet potato corn and chicken chowder. I had a version of this a few years ago, and I don't really follow a recipe for this. Just kind of make it with um, kind of things I have on hand. And then I had some leftover cornbread muffins. It was um, Brianna Thomas's recipe. They are fuel pull. I already have those in the freezer, so it's just going to pull those out to add to that. And then Wednesday is creamy healing ginger chicken soup. This is another one of my recipes, and I do have a video for that. If you're interested, I can link that below. I have been obsessed with this soup uh, also here recently. If I could, over the colder months, I would eat soup every day. My husband wouldn't be a huge fan if I would make soup every day, so I try not to make it every day, but... Um, making that soup this evening, that evening with the 15 minute focaccia bread. And then Thursday, some meatloaf. I have some in the freezer, potatoes and green beans. We're going to be traveling Friday and Saturday, pizza night, Sunday night. And then this week I'm going to make homemade Kit Kats, Molly Miller's recipe, super delicious and fruit. And then the last week of October is, um, we're going to do French toast for breakfast. And, um, I tend to either make eggs or or oatmeal and then my husband actually has been on an oatmeal kick and I will bulk make his oatmeal like for the week in individual serving bowls or what have you pack it with lots of um, superfoods I guess you could say and if you are in my private Facebook group I shared with you this week just kind of how I make that I make it a super simple way and so he actually hasn't gotten tired of it so I've been making it for quite a while for him for breakfasts his oatmeal that he can just heat up and go and then Monday we're doing the orange chicken Tuesday 15 bean chipotle chili I'm excited to try this it seems to be a very budget friendly and easy recipe um, and this is another cookbook that I enjoy it is the glow body PT mom cookbook um, she's a certified prenatal postnatal um, exercise specialist I guess you could say and she has a free um, prenatal exercise program on YouTube that I have been doing and um, just really enjoy her a lot so um, that's her recipe book I enjoy some of her recipes there and then Wednesday Reuben in a bowl Thursday C Cancun chicken over rice Friday pizza night and Saturday I'm just going to do some chicken, some broccoli, some rice and then I have a fuel pull dairy free cheese sauce that I love and I also have a recipe for that. I can link that in the um, description box below if you're interested and then we're going to do the finger food uh, again Sunday night and then of course this time of year I am a fan of pumpkin. I know not everyone is. 
um, but I just kind of do my own variation of pumpkin pie in a mug. I'll either make it like fuel pull or um, energizing. And then again, another, a, it's just a quick, delicious dessert to have on hand, skinny chocolate with pecans. And so that is it for the month of October. And I hope this gave you just some different ideas and inspiration. And I hope that you all have a blessed day. Take care. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my free Facebook community where we give tips and encouragement and challenges and just encourage one another and hold one another accountable.